Welcome to The Green Window by InSync Solar. My name is Neil Gordon. Thanks for joining me. I will show you some of today's most innovative engineered shedding solutions for residential, commercial, and hospitality projects. Let's get started. AIA has an excellent quote that describes sustainable design. Sustainable design is a collaborative process that evolves thinking ecologically, studying systems, relationships, and interactions in order to design in ways that remove rather than contribute stress from systems. The last line of designing in ways that remove rather than contribute stress from systems is excellent. I will show you some examples of where window coverings actually add stress to building systems and where engineered shedding solutions can reduce stress from building systems. Here's a hotel room in New York City. Very clever design with a bow-shaped rod allowing the drapes to close in front of the heating unit. Great design, lousy function as the drapes block the heat in the room, adding stress to the HVAC system. In this living room, we see a series of water tubes along the southern exposure, which heats up during the winter sun. A motorized window quilt lowers at night this combination provides a passive heating system for this home, but eliminates any view. Poor planning adds stress to this homeowner as this swag and jabot treatment prevents the doors from opening. Our goal is to combine effective function and form that removes stress from systems that we call engineered shading solutions. Engineered shading solutions should be considered part of the building system, just like lighting and HVAC. It should not be an afterthought. I've heard plenty of times comments like, just throw some shades up on these windows. Many times the project's success may well rest with window coverings. And by the way, this concept of engineered shading solutions is not a new idea. Around 70 AD, the Roman Colosseum provided spectators with an elaborate engineered shading solution called the Valerium. And here's a video showing the Valerium in action. In this painting of the gladiators, you can see how the artist depicted the shadows of the Valerium. The London 2012 Olympic Stadium has a remarkably similar shading structure to the Valerium. Let's wrap this section up on the green window by touching on the four areas of where window coverings contribute to lead. Daylighting, light pollution reduction, energy reduction, and recycle content. From the USGBC site is the explanation of daylighting. Glare control is perhaps the most common failure in daylighting strategies. Large windows provide generous amounts of daylight. If not controlled properly, this daylight can produce unwanted glare and affect interior lighting quality. Measures to control glare include light shelves, louvers, blinds, fins, and shades. Glare control is required for each window. When we get to fabrics, I will show you examples of how engineered shading solutions can control this unwanted glare. The USGBC says regarding light pollution reduction, all exterior openings such as windows must have shielding that could be automatically controlled and programmed to close from 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. This means that shades must be motorized and timed. Motorization will be discussed when we get to in-sync controls. For energy, LEED addresses these two main areas of concern, the reduction of solar energy entering a space and reducing the energy required for cooling, and the reduction of thermal energy leaving the space and thereby reducing the energy required for heating. And recycled content can be achieved by using one of our fabrics from the process called Green Screen Revive. Made from recycled water bottles, 16 plastic bottles will make up to one yard of fabric. Beyond this presentation of the green window, we have other videos on a range of topics. Thank you for watching the green window by InSync Solar, your choice for engineered shading solutions. <laughs>